Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do a hard reset um, on the new HTC Desire 626S. So, um, I just did it before I did this video um, just to see how to do it. Since it's a new phone, it's a lot more complicated than what it is on the other phones, guys. So, please stay tuned uh, to see it. It's going to be a really good instructional video. Hope it helps you guys. And I'll try to do my best to explain to you. So, okay, first you have to make sure that the phone is powered off. All the way off. Um, so if it's not because you can't remove the battery, you want to turn on the phone first. Uh, if it was on, you know, and then hold down the power button and make sure you click power off. Um, so once it's totally completely off, what you want to do is hold down the volume down button and the power button at the same time. So hold them down until the phone vibrates, then you want to let go. So let me show you. So volume down and power button. Hold it down. Till it vibrates, let go and the HTC um, sign will turn on. Or logo, should I say. And there you go, just leave it. Okay. Now here's where the hard parts come in. Well, not really. As you, if you watch this video, it's going to help you out. Now, as you can see, it's not the regular settings that we want. So you want to scroll down by clicking the volume down to where it says reboot to bootloader you want to so bootloader and then to select it you click the power button now it's going to turn off and go get right here same thing you want to scroll down with the volume down here's some instructions to where it says boot to recovery mode and then you want to click the power button to select, of course. Like I said, um, it's kind of it's 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 a lot harder than what other phones are to do a hard reset on this phone. So it's gonna stay black like that. You um, just don't worry about it. You just don't worry about it. Like I said, it's gonna stay black for for a little bit and then come back on. So don't think you're broke or anything. Just give it a sec. See what's up. And the next step is really, really important. Like I said, you're probably gonna freak out and be like, oh, I broke it. Here we go. So once you get to this logo, um, what you have to do is it kind of reminds me of a Morolo. Morolo ones are pretty hard to uh, to hard raise, reset to. You have to push down the volume up and the power button at the same time, and then you want to let go. Like I said, it's either volume up or volume down. So let's try the volume down. You want to let go. What you have to do is just tap it. So, so really what you have to do, guys, is you don't hold it down. You just tap the volume, um, the power button and the volume up. You just tap them. Don't hold them down. Just quick tap. And then finally, you're going to get to this screen right here. Um, and what you want to do is... Go to where it says wipe data and factory reset. Same thing. Um, volume down will scroll you down. And then power button. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you were seeing that. So like I said, volume down to select the wipe data slash factory reset. And you want to click the power button to select. You just tap it. Like I said, scroll down with the volume down to where it says yes, delete all user data. Click power button to select. And there we go. It's going to start wiping. So as you can see down here, it says wiping data. Now, I don't have much installed on this phone. So, uh, you know, if you have a lot of things installed in the phone, it might take a, a, lot, a lot longer to install. I mean to wipe. So once you're there, it's going to take you to this screen. And you want to click just the power button where it's already selected where it says reboot system now. Click power button and it's going to turn off, turn back on. And that is it, guys. Now this does come with Android 5.1, so make sure you remember your Gmail and password. Um, you know when you do this, or before you do this, um, since it does have Android 5.1. So thank you for watching, guys. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, let me know what you think. If you want, you can support me also on Patreon, so you can help me 
to make more videos like this. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Like I said, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and leave a comment. Shoot.